Hey, this is Tyler White. I'm gonna teach you how to use a field expedient method to filter water, so stay tuned. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to create a tripod with two or three layers. The primary layers is going to take out the big chunks of stuff. You usually put grass in there or just a bandana can work. The next layer is going to be a bandana, a bandana or a cloth of some sort that's going to have some sort of uh, char in it, charred material. Charred material being primarily carbon is very porous and bonds with chemicals. So it takes out the bad ta tasting, nasty stuff. Something like tannin, which happens just naturally from trees, can be mostly removed by having charred material in your filter. The final part of it is gonna be rocks and sand, and that's big chunks and little, little chunks. So essentially when you add water to the first layer, that takes out big old slimy nastiness, right? The next layer is gonna take out chemicals, and then that final layer is going to remove as much as we can before we get to the final product. Then you would boil it or add iodine or purify it in some way. So today we make it palatable, we boil it, and then we can drink it. Let's get making the tripod. Okay, so we've got our tripod. I made it out of two bandanas and a piece of VersaCloth. You can use a shirt and a pair of pants. You can use whatever cloth that you have. And if you think about it, the cloth itself will double as a filter all by itself. So the way that we did this is I took a rock, stuck it inside the cloth, tied a clove hitch on it. Super simple and quick. Okay, so we, we, we tied that. You can see these knots right here and right here. At uh, the top here, we just tied the two, two uh, corners of the four on the stick and then tied two corners together. Again, we did two rocks, two corners together, two corners together and a rock. And essentially what we're looking for is a straight line where gravity pushes down here and it drips into this one and gravity pushes down there and it drips into this one and gravity pushes down, which eventually fills up my cup which I will then boil in order to drink. Now, once we've got the tripod built, the only thing that we have left now, grass in, your, in the first part of your filter, that's really to take out the big nasty chunks. Your bandana is gonna kinda do that by itself. You don't have to put grass in there, but you can, it'll help, largely because you can remove the grass and put new grass in if you're drinking some real muddy or silty water. So we got the grass, then we've got char or carbon essentially followed by rocks and gravel till eventually we go from something muddy to something that is far less muddy and more palatable all right i'm gonna go gather those things we'll set it up put water in it and show you how it works okay so i've got some river water that i'm going to add some nastiness to okay so i'm going to add some dirt and some nastiness so that we can illustrate the point So that is some gross water. So now that I've poured dirt inside of my gross water, mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna pour this through here. That's like sludge. Look at that. Ugh. Sludge chunks coming out of it. Go get some more water. Still got sludge chunks in there. All right, so we've got the water here. It's cloudy, but it's not brown and nasty like it was when it went in the beginning. The other thing too is this is the first chunk that has been filtered. So I can toss this one, try to get the next batch, just like any brand new filter, 
when you uh, first run stuff through it, you're going to get carbon and dirt and all that other fun stuff. So we'll add some more here, more water to it. Now the stuff we're getting out this other side is much cleaner than it was last on the last go round. So that pulled a majority of the mud out of the water. Now again, this is not clean drinkable water. This is filtered water. This is palatable water. It's a little bit milky. It's not nasty mud like it was but you still have to boil it. So you still have to boil it. And to show you how clean this is, or how clean it was compared to what it was when it went in, it's very clean looking water. So I'd be able to drink this water as far as it, it tastes good. I just gotta boil it first because this system's not gonna, rem it's not fine enough of a filter to remove cryptosporidium and bacteria. Um, it's just fine enough of a filter to remove a lot of the mud. And I can see a bunch of mud and debris and nastiness that's in this grass that was caught on the first filter. And then it was filtered for taste through the char charcoal. And then it's filtered through the rocks to try to remove the charcoal and what's left. Um, to kind of show you that, if we look at the grass right here in the top, all of that is nastiness that was in my, uh, that I scooped up off the ground that was in my, my water. So that first amount gathered, uh, took it out and, and went through there. Now what I can do with this is I can continue to add more uh, char and I can remove this grass and replace it with other grass to clean my filter out as I continue to filter the water as I go along. All right, guys, hopefully this is valuable to you. This is something, again, and I'm going to say this the third time, this just cleans the water so it tastes good. You still got to boil it or treat it with a filter or put chemical in it or something to make it so that it won't make you sick. But this is a good way to take super nasty water and make it palatable so that when you do boil it, you can drink it without gagging. If this was valuable to you, hit the subscribe button. Leave any comments you have down below. I'll try to get to all the questions that you have. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.